Welcome to this tutorial in which we are going to see how to create this uh, beautiful composition with a glass effect uh, and uh, this uh, different uh, colors uh, effect. So let's do it. First of all, like always, we are going to create the shapes and then we are going to create the materials. On the left, uh, the scene of I've already done for spline and on the right the scene that we are going to create together from scratch. So as always what we are going to do is to click on this rectangle and delete this rectangle. Then we are going to create the background color so for that I will just copy past E, D, D, C, D, D and paste on the background color of our new scene. I'm going to rename my scene uh, shape composition tutorial and I'm going to create these shapes. They are really basic shapes so uh, which are um, available here so if you click on the plus there is cylinder, there is cubes, uh, there is spheres, no, there is no sphere in my scene. And I will use the cylinder also for this object. So first, click on the cylinder, press uh, hold shift to maintain the proportion. And resize a bit, hold shift to rotate pr uh, easily. We are going to create also a cube. You can select a cube here or you can click on the plus and select the cube here. Hold shift to maintain the proportion. So I have a cylinder, a cube. And what I need also is like another cylinder. So I'm going to click on this one. Uh, Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Hold shift to rotate 90 degrees and here I'm going to just have the half part of my uh, cylinder and for that I'm, I have to uh, go on my setting of my cylinder on the right there is shape angles and here I'm going to divide by two and as you can see I miss the uh, top of my half cylinder uh, so for that I'm going to edit the cylinder but before editing I'm going to reduce to 10 the sides so I'm going to smooth and edit now to remove the level of subdivision and I'm going to click on the edge uh, selection here on top I'm going to select two of my edge not uh, not necessary to select all the edge and I'm going to click on this icon fill hole ha fill hole or H and after that I'm going to remove this and this by pressing this sorry and I'm going to click on the face selection select one the, the, the top face and I'm going to select extrude and click twice like that and for for making this very round corners uh, who, which are uh, almost on all the the, the the shapes for the shape I've um, smooth and edited I have to make it by myself so I'm going to click on loop, loop cut and click here slide like that click another time and oops click another time oh click another time slide and you can now add one or two level of subdivision it's making a weird thing, so I'm going to increase the number of division here and maybe like that too. So, like 
like that it's cleaner okay so for this one because I've edited it I have to make the round corner by myself but for the two other shapes I just have to select a shape and add a, add a number on the corners and you will see here when I'm going to click uh, to, to uh, click enter it's going to be more round here I don't know if you want. yeah like that and same here four so all my shapes are smooth and round I'm going to remove this um, grid here by for that I have to go on my setting of the scene and on grid plane I'm going to be put off instead of uh, plane same here so, so I have uh, different shapes and now I just have to create my different shapes so this one I'm going to copy uh, duplicate control plus D hold uh, shift to make to create a rotation hold shift to create the um, you understood <laughs> and click uh, on the uh, uh, the cube the gray cube uh, to adjust okay click on this uh, shape control plus d to duplicate uh, hold shift maintain the proportion click on the cube adjust okay so i think i have all the shape uh, and control plus d to duplicate Hold shift adjust control plus D to duplicate and adjust. I think I have all my different shapes. Hold shift. Hold shift. I think I have all my different shapes and now I'm just control D, hold shift, hold shift and now I just have to create my composition so I'm going to make it more or less the same but hold shift, uh, uh, <laughs> control D, hold shift, 45 Hold shift 90 and control D to duplicate control D to duplicate hold shift control D to duplicate Rotate, hold, hold shift, rotate, hold shift, scale. Hold shift, scale. Ctrl D Okay, let's say the composition is enough so now I'm going to create several um, materials. So for that, I'm going on my uh, setting of the scene on the right. I'm going to uh, create a new material by clicking on the plus 
on material asset and I'm going to rename it uh, glass for example I'm going to create the glass material first so the glass material uh, is not needed of a color so we are going to remove we are going to add a new layer which is called glass this one I'm going to blur a lot uh, to make the straightness big and to make the reflection to 1.08 and I'm going to add uh, a fresnel uh, up. I'm going to add like a color on the fresnel it's going to be my composition is going to be pink so I'm going to create like a pink reflection like that and I'm going to make it on overlay of my of my uh, object I'm going to put like for example uh, to put my material on this four objects and what I want to add also on my material my glass material is um, a reflection you, you see that there is a reflection on when I move there is a reflection but here there is no reflection so I want to add a reflection and for that I'm going to add a new layer uh, which is going to be a matte cap <coughs> And I'm going to choose the last matte mat cap, which is like a very reflective matte cap, but I'm going to put it on screen. So now if I move, it's going to be reflective. And there is something that I would maybe put my... Yeah, I think it's better on screen. Uh, so make the Fresnel on bending screen. screen. So I have my glass material and now I, I want to create my other material. So I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to rename it pink. And I used to, instead of just one color, I used to create like a gradient. And for that I'm using depth. And I'm going to just copy past my, my colors. So going to be faster uh, before I'm going to put my material to these three three assets so what we can see is my material is very dark like a dark shadow here um, uh, it's not really beautiful and we want like a shadow very um, colorful very intense so for that we just have to uh, put our lighting on overlay put our lighting on 100% uh, and I'm going to also to add um, a matte cap So the last one, that one is really my favorite. And on screen or maybe on, oh no, on screen. And that's it for this one. Yes, it is, it's cool. Ah, I've put also like something on the lighting. Uh, I'm going to, to put like you, you can see here is very visible uh, if I put a lighting on dark which was uh, dark before or if I put a lighting on color on like white or maybe like this maybe more pinkish so it change change a bit so like like that is cool I think it's it's cool it's I think it this one so now what I just have to do is to duplicate this material by clicking on the uh, right uh, click on my mouse 
and I'm going to just copy paste like the other um, color. Up. And for this one, I'm going to select this one, this, this one, this one, and this one, for example. Oops. Okay. And now I'm going to duplicate another time, select my other color. This one, I don't know why it was this color, but it was to 0%. And now I'm going to to put my material to this this one. And now I can adjust the the gradient. I can. Uh, Okay, instead of radial, I can put on linear, and I can adjust like that my gradient. I can change also. You can see that the red part is uh, the gradient is on this axis. If I want to change, I can choose like another axis, uh, maybe this one, so that. Uh, my gradient is very beautiful like on this, this edge, this part. I can adjust, I can keep adjusting to make it uh, more beautiful, more smooth. I can also click on smooth to smooth even more. And actually there is a lot of more shapes on my other composition but um, it's more or less how I've done this beautiful and quick composition And ta -da! I hope you liked it and see you soon in a new tutorial.